chose to do is The Words I Would Say by Sidewalk Prophets. It is a God song, as Chase would say. <laughs> um, like, the basic plot line of the story is this guy, like, can't sleep, and so he gets up and starts writing this letter to, like, a loved one, and he's basically telling, like, his hopes for them, his dreams, and, like, God's promises for them. And basically, the song, like, tells you to, like, be strong and stay true to God, and he'll, like, help you pull you through whatever's going on. And I chose this song because it reminds me of my grandma. Um, the first part, it says, like, they're writing a letter, and that is what really reminds me of my grandma, because she writes me letters all the time. She lives, like, three miles away, but she still writes me letters. When I was um, really young, she would write me letters. I think it was more for like the excitement of getting a letter in the mail. Because we always we all know like when we were little and got a letter in the mail, it was like, yay, I'm like mom and dad, I get mail. Um, but now it's more for um, like encouragement and stuff. She'll put in like all these like I love yous and you're such a blessing to you, me and my grandpa and whatever and um, she'll tell me like personal stories like fun stuff that you know I wouldn't normally hear but it's just kind of interesting to see her take on stuff that I've gone through that she's also gone through and just like wisdom passed on from like generation to generation through stories and um, she'll also eventually like sometimes she puts in um, like stuff that other people have said about me that you know I haven't heard but they've like told her when she's like in the grocery store or something and that is like super special to me because you know people wouldn't normally come up to say hey you're really nice da, 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 but they'll tell your family and I think it's especially special to get a compliment from someone that isn't obligated to give you compliments like your family <laughs> like they don't have to, they went out of their way to go give you a compliment that really hits home for me. So um, a couple of values that this song portrays. One is um, my relationship with God. My grandma has definitely um, helped me along in that respect. And basically, um, she's it's taught me like not to fear or worry about anything because I can give it all to him, which it kind of helps right now, especially because I'm trying to kind of get a hold on, like, my college stuff, which I am really worried about. And <laughs> so it just kind of helps me get through that because it's a lot to have on your shoulders all by yourself. Um, another thing that I value is people. My grandma has taught me that. She, she'll go give a hug to anybody at church. It doesn't matter who they are. She's like on this like meet and greet team at church she's just like total talk to you about whatever she wants <laughs> and I have definitely picked up on that I love to talk to people not giving speeches but <laughs> like in conversation um, I especially love my family I spend every chance that I can spending with them like for family dinners and like even if I can go over to my grandma's house and make cookies for an afternoon, that is like, I love doing that. And if you've ever heard of um, like the five love languages, it's um, like, I don't remember them all, there's like touch and then words and time and gifts and there's one other one that I can't remember. But mine is time. Like when I spend people with time with people, that is how I feel like most loved. And she definitely understands that, and so that's why people is so important to me, because I love spending time with people. It's how I feel like, oh, they love me, blah, blah, blah. And um, the last thing that she uh, has taught me is encouragement. From as little as I can remember, she's always been encouraging everyone, not just family. And it's definitely rubbed off on me, because I... Um, like when I'm out on the volleyball team or soccer or whatever, I'm always trying to encourage people because you never know like what something you might say that might just brighten someone's day that makes them feel better. So it's just something to make, make their day feel a little bit better.